Hi everyone, this is Derived Energy. I'm, today I'm making a response video to ZJ Amp TV. Um, he made a video called uh, Why Not Immortality? So I'll be addressing this video today. Hello ZJ Amp TV if you're watching this. Um, okay, let's get this show on the road. After my last video about the potential use of technology to ensure human immortality, there were some people who offered their views on why this might not be such a good idea. A few of them pointed out that literal immortality may not actually be possible, and for reasons of cosmology, thermodynamics, and so on, we would never really get to live forever. And that might be so, but does it mean we shouldn't even try? Even if we can't live forever, we could live for a much longer time. If that's not worth pursuing because we'll still have to die eventually, then why don't we all just kill ourselves right now? We why don't we just kill ourselves right now? Well, that's actually a good idea because the actual reason to to continue to live and to and to procreate is, is irrational. Um, it's it's not based in, in in reason and logic. It's uh, human beings, you know, primarily driven by emotions and instincts and not reason and uh, logic. And if if we had no irrational fear of death, then there would be no reason not to commit suicide, you know, um, if we could all agree to do it together, which of course is is not going to happen. But it's it's um, it's an interesting thought experiment to illuminate the fact that if we did all commit suicide, then there would be no deprivation of happiness or a futile pursuit for meaning, and no pain, suffering, or d or death. So. When you say, why don't we just all kill ourselves, the, the, the reason is, is based in, um, in, in evolutionary explanations to do with our irrational emotions. We may not be able to eliminate all potential causes of death, but we might be able to eliminate some, possibly even many. This is something that we've always tried to do. Isn't that still worth working towards? Other okay, so just because we've done it in the past, that we should continue to do it in the future. Um, we've, I mean, we've always had wars in the past, so shouldn't we just continue to have wars in the future? Others claim that wanting to avoid death is somehow just like religion. Really? How is it like religion? Well, let's see. How is not wanting to die like religion? It's, it's. It's mythologizing, it's, it's exalting sentience um, over the absence of sentience, you know. God said, let there be light. He wanted to create sentient beings. He, he wanted to, to, uh, to, to create sentience because he saw sentience as bestowing a, an advantage or advantages over an absence of sentience, you know. this. The whole motivation behind religion is, 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 is due to mankind's irrational fear of death and not being able to come to terms with the fact that he's a mortal, defecating, urinating and suffering animal who is fated to die. Um, so I think the, the, um, the, the comparisons can be made there. You know, and also the, the, the wish to live forever is, is based in irrational reasoning. It's not based on logic, you know, the same with religion, you know, um, mankind needed to invent these superstitious myths because he, they, he just could not cope with, with living through the hardships of the famines and the wars and the, and the, and the toil and the conflict and being nagged by needs and wants and uh, being subject to deprivations and staring death squarely in the face, you know, that would have um, driven him insane or just made him apathetic and just think, you know, what's the point of continuing and perpetuating this thing? How can I live with a clean conscience and, and bring children into the world? But, you know, science is advanced and, um, and religion is, is, is starting to die a slow death because religion cannot uh, 
survive in the light of, uh, of continual science, scientific knowledge. And um, now religion has played its part. You, you're just, mankind is just trying to desperately latch on to something else. There's this, this uh, singularity endeavor or this, um, this, this, this technological utopia that you're, you're hoping to, to build and construct and work towards. But it's all absolutely futile and meaningless. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. It's just your your ego and your animalistic fear, an irrational fear, um, that you feel that somehow you'll be deprived of of making YouTube videos if you no longer exist. I mean, it, it's really ridiculous and it's ludicrous. And and um, you know. Uh, Evolution has been going on for like three and a half billion years. It's a long time and, you know, people's intelligence is starting to to be able to look outside its life cage and, and see that life is a futile, absurd and pernicious endeavour. And if people could objectively look at what, what they're doing when they're creating new sentient life, then they wouldn't, they wouldn't do it if they had any kind of moral conscience whatsoever. And this this insatiable need to, 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 to live and, and, and to try to desperately avoid death at any cost. It's all, it's all due to fear and irrationality. As I say, it's not grounded in, in, in um, a rational um, appraisal of the human condition because you would appreciate, if you could appreciate that, that death marks the end of sentience, then there's, there's absolutely no deprivational state. So, so why would you worry that if you die then you're going to miss out on another 20,000 years of um, I don't know what, what what people want to do in that kind of time you know and if they if they do live for a long time are they going to create more sentient beings who will suffer and die for their own edification just because a belief system that's rooted in mythology happens to incorporate an entirely fictional kind of immortality, it doesn't mean the very notion of it is irrevocably tainted. Simply not wanting to die isn't something that must be inherently entangled with religion. And in this case, religion plays no part whatsoever. Oh, I think it's religious thought. It's not nihilistic scientific thought, is it? It's, it's, it's exalting sentience. Um, you know, all, all you're doing is you're just pursuing some kind of configuration of chemicals in your brain that signals happiness and then you, you regard that as bestowing uh, a meaning to life that justifies perpetuating unnecessary pain, suffering and death on uh, future generations for your own edification. And if, if, if mankind does create this technology that will enable him to live for much, much longer. What is he going to do with his time? Is he going to to, uh, to to create more sentient beings that will suffer and die, you know, and spread them around the universe? I mean, it's really it's a it's a horrible thought. And you you seem to think that that morality just magically keeps in step with technological advances, or at least that's what you perhaps fervently hope. But there's absolutely no evidence that that is how things work in reality. Um, be, people, uh, evolution is not compatible with, with moral progress. I mean, th this technological, um, th this desire for, 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 for um, shielding yourself away from death and trying not to face it is most undignified.